What was I just doing? Preparing the chickens for power outage. Nah, there's not one in the forecast yet, but still. Here's a video of how to care for chickens during a power outage. So let's get into it. First thing, stock up on water ahead of time. I can't tell you how stressful it is to stock up last minute. So you should even stock up before the severe season, which for most parts, at least in the States, is usually from about early May to about mid-September, so basically throughout the, you know, really warm season, so, you know, it feels the thunderstorms, and some thunderstorms contain really damaging winds, so make sure you stock up on water ahead of the game. If you see, like, a longer-term thing, like, you know, like, a whole system that could produce those power outages, or even just a hurricane that could produce those power outages, be careful. Oh my god, I can't stress about, enough about that. Another thing is, don't be afraid to experiment with things. So, say like your power goes out, 9 out of 10 chance you probably can't talk to anyone on phone, so that's really the point. So go outside and, you know, with your chickens, so... You know, like grab, you know, like, their feed. So, you know, like, maybe even try something new. You can even experiment with the times you let them out, hell. Yeah, do that. You should experiment with that sort of stuff anyway. But if the power's out, you don't have to be talking to anyone that early in the morning anyway. No, go get up that early anyway. So, yeah. Like, the power outages really, you know, get you like a taste on the older life. So that's why you should be, you know, experimenting with different things. So maybe even letting out the chickens earlier in the morning. So let's just say you let them out at like 8 now. You let them out at 7.30. And well, the power outage not only doesn't make you feel disconnected from the world, but it also makes you feel connected to a whole new, another source of life. It's amazing, right? This is only applicable if you have wires that are down on your road, because most likely the real reason you're out of power, if you don't have a generator, is the power lines. Yeah, most likely. So, you know, like, you go out, and you know, let's just say you have free-range chickens. Be very careful. Here's why. So, like, imagine, like, the power lines are down, like, right near your road. Sometimes chickens are curious, and they wonder what's beyond your driveway. You know, it's, it's bad, but it's okay for them to get to know stuff. But not during a power outage. They could walk right onto the roads, and, well, there's power lines there. They could walk right into those things. And they're just as deadly to chickens as they are to us if they walk into it that way. Touching two wires kills you, too. So, yeah. Be very careful when it comes to, you know, downed wires on your road. Because, well, if you have chickens that really like to move long distances, they like to go up the roads, holy hell yeah, they'll want to go up there. They probably want to touch some power lines. They're curious what they are. Be careful. So that's why I keep them in pastures, and why if I free range them, they're up there, not down there. Predators. Sometimes there's actually predator increase during a power outage, especially if it's widespread, since most nocturnal predators don't like light, you know? It's kind of already built in their eyes. So they don't like the light that we give them. So when there's power outages, they'll go right for your chickens, you know? It's literally just, it's literally just free McDonald's for them. Yeah, it's literally free McDonald's for them, so be very careful with that. So that means that uh, being in a power outage, hell yeah, it's calming, it gets you disconnected from the world you're used to living in and reconnecting you to older life. But it's also literally giving predators free McDonald's or Burger King or whatever the hell fast food restaurant you can think of. Yeah. So they're giving them a 100% off coupon to like Burger King or something like that. Yeah. 2,000 years later. Now let's just say the power outage lasts for, I don't know, like six or seven days, about a week. You know, it's been a week, and now we're just done with this power outage. Thank God it's over. But there's one key thing you're missing. You're like, oh, maybe I can just return back to normal life. No, don't do that immediately. Firstly, go check your water filter, which is the thing that makes your water clean. And that's why you can drink the water provided by your well or wherever you get the, your water flow from. But, yeah. Check your water filter. 
check the treats you give your chickens, check any refrigerated stuff you give your chickens, all the stuff that requires electricity to give chickens, like, you know, like, water from your house, not water you get from Walmart, yeah. Make sure it all still works. Check the electricity on your chicken coop, make sure it still works. And also, check to make sure that everything else is still operatable. Because if it's not, you need to get replacements. And getting replacements are sometimes harder than literally trying to spam wave clicks in Geometry Dash. Literally. It's sometimes even harder than that. There's one thing I forgot to mention. As time progresses, we start to adapt new things. And by that, I mean generators. We already have a generator. We got it recently for an ice storm. And well, you might have a generator. So, if you're watching this in like, I don't know, like 2045, this video is practically worthless to you. Uh, most people, at least that I know, have a generator. So yeah, if you wanna just avoid all this altogether, get a generator. So remember to make sure you can operate your dryer and your oven because well, that uses way too much electricity. So remember to subscribe everyone, stay warm, stay safe, and keep your chickens safe. And if you are planning on getting chickens, I'd highly recommend you binge the series once that comes out on May what, 7th or something like that. Subscribe and goodbye.